President Trump is building a wall, just not the one at the border. The executive branch has spent roughly $291,000 on new office walls for the U.S. Trade Representative, according to federal records. The money is part of the $1.75 million the White House has doled out for furniture within executive offices since Trump became president in January. A big chunk of that payout has been for wooden office furniture, which cost almost $240,000, the records indicate. Alex Wong Getty images these larger pieces were likely part of the August renovation of the West Wing, according to ACNBC News, which first spotted the spending. The long-scheduled construction forced President Trump to work from his New Jersey country club for about three weeks. Also included is a $12,800 custom conference table made by Kittinger Furniture in Buffalo. That's the same company who, in 1969, Nixon commissioned to build a 22.5-foot conference table for the cabinet room. President Nixon paid for the table himself, reads a post on Kittinger's website. It wasn't clear where the table will be installed, or whether it's been finished. The total spending so far is slightly higher than the $1.5 million spent by the Obama administration at this point, according to ACNBC News, which first spotted the spending. A new president will typically redesign the West Wing and other offices when taking office to reflect his personal preferences. Alex Wong Getty images for the Trump administration that means $17,000 for new rugs and $5,000 for wallpaper. Obama paid for some of the costs out of pocket, and it's not clear if Trump will be doing the same. The former real estate developer reportedly told his golf buddies in August the White House was a dump, and he hated it there. He rebuffed that in an angry tweet, calling the executive mansion beautiful.